This is part three to the return of serve technique. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the forward movement during the contact phase. So it's really important that when you make contact, you do not set your feet in most cases, and also you're not waiting for the ball. So it's more like a volley footwork than a ground stroke footwork in that you want to move through the contact as opposed to waiting for the ball. Moving to the ball at a diagonal is going to help you create power and allow you to also have con more control in a sense because you can do less with your racket. Anytime you shorten the backswing, you're making it easier to control and time the shot. So this is gonna help you even further with giving you that effortless power that you're looking for. So what you're gonna do is similar to last week's video in which you're going to just do some shadow swings. You are not going to need a partner. You can do this by yourself in your house, maybe your backyard. And you're going to do all three steps. We talked first video a couple weeks ago about flip. Second video we talked about loading the outside leg, getting the weight over that foot. And then the third part in this video is we're going to move forward by pushing off that outside leg in the direction of that ball that is coming to you. So I'm going to do a couple, uh, couple by myself with no partner. I'm just trying to create that muscle memory. We've got split, load the outside leg, and then push off. That push off of this leg is that last move there. That's the, that is what we're doing right now. So you've got the split, load the outside leg, and notice how I'm not waiting for the ball I'm hitting here. I'm pushing off the ground. So now I've got Chase going to serve me a ball, and I'm, gonna, I'm now going to hit it, obviously. And I want you to take a look at my footwork. Notice where I start in comparison to the baseline, and then where I finish. So you can see I probably covered about five, six feet there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to practice each progression in order and practice those shadow strokes. They may not be the most exciting drill to do, but it's gonna help you uh, with your endurance and you're gonna feel tired as I am right now and you will improve your return of serve in that sense that when you do get back on the court, you're not thinking too much because you've already had your body go through those motions. Please check back in soon. We will have more videos coming. And until then, stay healthy and enjoy yourselves, but stay safe.